like to read a story. And sometimes if somebody else reads a story, you're not really interested into it. And by the time they get to the middle, you wake up in the middle and say amen. And then you wake up at the other end and say amen. Because it was a good story, but you weren't, you weren't paying attention like you should. Because it's just a story to them. And I tell you that the Philistines, many of them heard the poor. And they had it and they listened to it. And that's good. And many of us in churches, we hear the word of God and we hear the preacher speak. And we say amen on Sunday. Let me try to define that to you a little bit more. David had a memory. It wasn't just something 
something that he fell asleep on, but it began to spur exciting. Sometimes you watch, watch a show and somebody says you win a million bucks and you see them jump as high as they can. Oh, yes! I, and I'll tell you, they say, I'll never forget that moment. Well, I'll tell you that David had an experience with God in his salvation in his younger years. At your age, when you just get saved, when you move on a little bit longer. And he had an experience, he had a memory that he never forgot. It was with him. God had given him the victory in his life, but he had to be willing to be tested in those moments. And as that man, as he came to that battle array, there on the Philistine, on Israel's ground, where the Philistines were coming to defeat the Israelites, David had a memory that caused him to stir up and say, Hey, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I know how to do this. I don't know about you sometimes taking those tests and sometimes you begin to study and you know, wait a minute, I don't know, can't figure this out. But then you come upon another point and say, wait, I know this. You begin to write that down and say, oh, I got this. That was so easy. You know why? Because you studied it. You knew what it was to have, to have the answer. And David knew what it was to have the answer. It didn't matter what the decimal point was. It didn't matter what the degree of difficulty was. you have those people that say, you're just the smarty pants. You just know it all. You know what happened there in that day? David said, I know the answer. I can defeat this giant. I've got it. David, sit down, sit down. You, you, you know the answer. That's what he's saying. You're just one of those smarty pants. You think you can, you think you can, but you think you have the answer. You really don't. Just sit down. Nobody likes those people. Be quiet. That guy is going to go away. He just keeps attacking and defeating and people say, well, if I ignore it, it'll go away. No, I tell you, it's not going to go away. You've got to face the enemy. You've got to face the challenges that God has placed in front of you if you're going to have the victory. And I'll tell you that it's the will of God. The Bible says that Jesse, his father, sent him forth for that battle to help his brothers. You say, I'm too young. I can't help him. This is an older generation. Sometimes they, uh, they're not going to listen to me. But I'll tell you, when the father sends you, when the father sends you, then that's all that matters. I've got the father's word. I've got the father's word. I've never had a brother or sister. I wanted one before, but I've never had one. And I'm sure I've seen some friends. I've had some friends. And you know what? Uh, my best friend, and uh, my best friend in Maine, he got married the other day. But anyways, I've, had, I've seen him. He has two sisters, and I've seen him where he's come up before his sisters come and says, "Father told me, Father told me, so you gotta listen." You ever see that? You got the word of the Father, so it doesn't matter anymore. Brother and sister, they don't have the right. So I tell you that David knew him, and he didn't come that way. But he came and said, "I got the Father's will. I know what the Father's will is. He sent me here to this place." See, I'll tell you that David walked into an experience that was unexpected. I hope I'm not preaching too long with you. But I'm telling you, I want to get you, I want you to know that there's victory at the end of this message. There's victory at the end of your walk. There's victory at the end of this week. There's victory to be had in God. But you've got to have that memory in God. How are you going to face what's unexpected in front of you? How are you going to face what's unexpected? It's by putting what is expected. I know you that the condition of Israel's land was too much. The condition of our land is too much. Some of us might be in a hole where fathers not saved, mothers not saved, 